a little bit different today. I'm like a little thought gardener. Thing they do. They do. <laughs> you live to see another day. I'm not trying to teach people how to do this, but. I, I never ever went back after that. So we were such deep into the conversation that we forgot to record an intro. Just did nothing for <laughs> So, welcome back to the Piggy Boys Podcast. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's a little bit different today. Today, it's just, just two amigos. Two. It's two people. Two Casamigos. Just, uh, just, that's it. Casamigos. Yeah, let's just jump. Let's, let's Casamigos. Is that a, isn't that a liquor? No. Because we, we are drinking in this episode. Yeah, we are drinking this episode. But um, yeah, let's do it. All right. All right. Enjoy. Let's just jump into it. <laughs> enjoy this. And enjoy. <laughs> to here comes a conversation now. <laughs> enjoy this episode. <laughs> oh, look at this fucking aerobics back you have, a, you have a horrible <laughs> red stuff, watermelon mustache. <laughs> I think I have to deal with that a little bit. Be honest. Nothing's better than a floor paper towel when you don't got any. That's true. Nothing's better than a floor paper towel. Have you ever used a paper <laughs> have you ever used a paper towel to wipe your ass? Sometimes you gotta. But you can't flush those things, man. Oh, I do. You flush them? Yeah. Just flush them. Yeah, but like in your apartment or in your house? Apartment. Because the apartment, they won't know that you're destroying every single pipe that's ever existed in that place, but in your house. Well, also, I got a pretty strong flush. I've only clogged my toilet once. In your apartment. Yeah, which is pretty good. Dude, you, it's like those uh like school flushes. Dude, school plumbing is some tough stuff. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's school plumbing. It, it, well, any big like the, I feel like the larger the complex, the bigger the flush. <laughs> like, like, like well, when I, I I used to live in a huge apartment complex um, in Woodside, and that flush could like could flush a small child. Seriously, <laughs> you could when, you and when it, it was like <laughs> like it, it, it was really really fucking. It was a it was a strong flush. Like you're afraid of your balls touching the water a little bit. You might get castrated. It's, a little it's, bit. It was like an airplane bathroom, <laughs> dude. No, dude, just, airplane just, bathrooms. Dude. I I. I, when, when, when I use them, it's like I'm using, like I'm throwing a frag grenade or something. <laughs> I, I press flush and I go. <laughs> like a, a flash <laughs> because bang. because it is fucking it is intense. Dude, is it true that like when you flush on an airplane, it just it just could fall on a house? No, that's, that's not, not true. That's not true. <laughs> How could that possibly be well, true? Why did pe people used to believe that? I believed that for a while. I that, that's not true. The plane the plane has a reservoir, like a silo kind of. And what, what, well, when that gets max capacity, then the bathrooms just shut down. I think. So then when people are just pissing themselves in their seats. Although, did you hear the story? Yeah, planes just can't drop shit. I mean, there's people Dude, blow. I'm pretty sure Joe Dirt. That's a pretty good documentary. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah, this first of all, not that. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but um, but did you hear about the plane? It was in L.A. and um, one of its engines failed, so it had to lose weight because it was going over over the Atlantic Ocean, and, it and so it dropped fuel. And it, because that's how you lose a lot of weight, because it was it was the most of the you well, know. fuel's pretty dense, I guess. Well, if you're going to like Japan, yeah. Why not drop like some of the you know heavy heavy cargo? They can't just drop that well, for this reason exactly because they dropped the fuel and it landed on a bunch of school children. It landed on a school and just like gasoline started like fucking flying from the sky. It's not gasoline, I don't think. So then why not? I think it's kerosene. So then why not? No, a message popped up on my computer. Oh. I don't know what that happens. I don't, it's, you can't stop that. But then why? So it's okay to drop fuel on kids. Well, I mean, you can't drop shit on kids? Well, I mean, I'm sure there's people that shit on kids. You can't drop shit on kids. So you can drop fuel. Fuel you can drop on because it doesn't. I mean, fuel I, in, in, inherently doesn't really. Do well, were they playing kickball in the schoolyard and out of nowhere they got a just nice a bunch of gasoline? Too, good thing there wasn't a fire around. They could have started a <laughs> it's, fire. It's like the opposite of the helicopters that drop water on places. They're just making the fire worse. Yeah, why is that water red? You know Excuse when that when when the planes you ever see like uh, forest fire planes fly over? It's like red water. I think it's like a, I think it's like a fire agent, like a fire extinguishing yeah, agent sure, that's I'm mixed sure, in with the water. I'm sure they add something to the plane to. Well, at the end of the day, what's water gonna do? You need something more than water. You should, you should be dropping fire extinguishers on that fire, or like you know the you see the fire extinguisher grenades they have now. They just throw them in. Oh yeah, yeah. I was thinking about the fact that, and this is gonna sound really dumb, but I I don't think I really know. The reason as to why the sky is blue. Okay. But it's going to ask me. I mean, I'm, now I'm sorry. Because you now don't I'm know either. I'm starting to not think I know either. <laughs> because, I mean, I know obviously like the sky's blue, blah, blah, blah. It's something with like reflections or light or some shit. Chemicals, ozone. Uh, yeah. Ozone has to be part but, of it. But, it, but it, it really doesn't make any sense at all. Why isn't it just deep space all the time? Why isn't it just black? Yeah. First of all, Terrifying. I really don't know the answer to that. <laughs> I don't know. Also, the sky might as well be the ocean. It's just so vast. You don't know what's up there. 
Also, I saw somebody. I, I, I saw. I saw like a thing online that was like, if so. So we see things because reflections of light. Our eyes, you yeah. know, and the speed of light is very, very fast. Um, but it's not. But but technically, whenever we're whatever we're seeing is like a second delayed, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, as you get further and further away from Earth, that is more delayed. delayed. And so, when you think about it, the Earth has a natural defense system for any aliens looking at the Earth. Oh, because they... They think we haven't even civilized yeah, yet. Yeah, they'll, they'll see... Just a rock. They'll see these big, giant lizards walking exactly. around and be like, what the because hell is that, on that Because that light is still getting to them. That's crazy. First of the all... The Earth has a natural defense system? Excuse me? First of all, I don't like thinking about that, because what does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? And also, if there's any scientists, tell me if that's true. That, that might be totally false, but that makes sense. I've heard sense. that, too. No, I've heard that, too. I've heard that, like, if you... I've if, heard the radio waves. Like, you can still hear, like, Hitler's speeches if you, you know, if you're at the right place in space. Well, also, the radio also, waves just go Yeah, they, they don't go away. It's like how energy... Oh, we're getting real science on it. We don't deserve yeah. to get this science but it's like how energy is never destroyed. It's always put into something else. Anyway, that's a good precursor to today's guest... Neil deGrasse Tyson. Well, <laughs> come on in. <laughs> we can't, oh, yeah. Imagine that one. You come and just start biffing each other. No, we don't know enough about science to do anything. That's true. Math and science, though, are my best subjects. Don't know enough about them, so how good could they have been? But either way, I lost a math B once. I liked physics, and I hated chemistry. You know any of the periodic table? I mean, I know some of it. <laughs> I know some. But there's like 144, right? I'm not going to say you're wrong or right, because... I'm Let's not, get a fact check I'm on not that. Gonna, oh, by gonna, the way, it's a Tuesday. No, it's, it's Thursday Thursday. Stop. So me and Antonio are drinking. Oh, yeah. So, uh, but what, want to bet a shot on who can get closer to the number of periodic tables? All right, I'll bet a shot. Give me some. All right, so you're saying 144. 144. I'm saying 100. Wait, is this price is right? Can I go 145? Yeah. <laughs> and okay. anything let's, about? Let's talk about this. Wait, 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 no, wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait. You wait. Let's <laughs> talk about this. Price is right rules. Sure, that's the game. But when people play prices right rules just as reg- on, on random bets, it makes no sense. Just call him an asshole. Why? Why is it that I can't go over? If I'm one closer and you're fucking yeah, 100 like, points below, you win? It's like That makes no <laughs> sense like, at all. How, it's ludicrous. How much do you think this bill is going to be? How about we bet how much the bill is going to be? Then whoever whoever's closest doesn't have to pay it. All right. I think it's $100. Okay. I think it's 101 Price is right rules. It's like, it that, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so we're not playing price right rules. The, the true closest. The true closest. And if, you, and if you get it on the head, the other person has to take two shots. Two shots. All right. Um, I'm going to say 128 I'm pretty confident 144. I'm going to say 120. All right, look it up on your phone. It's a lot faster than me. All right. Than me and Jamie in this. How many oh. elements are on the periodic table? Oh, my God. Here's an answer from wikipedia.org. Since 2016, Fuck. the periodic table has 118 confirmed elements. Yes. Oh, yes. Shucks. Oh, you shucked it. 118. 144, you simpleton. What's wrong with you? Go to, go it to, did go say to... confirmed elements. Is is there a distinction between you know how say, there's like the main block, and then there's the bottom? Oh, like the plutonium and stuff. What is that? Are those like hypotheticals? No, I think those are just like weird isotopes. Honestly, where? Wow, we are really getting into it. Today. <laughs> what, what weird we, isotopes. What, what are we doing? Those are like the you know. I'm pretty sure isotopes one real word. Two, I'm pretty sure it, it uh, it's an ab- attribute of that bottom row you're talking about. Here we go. It's an attribute. Yeah. Couch or futon? Futon. Futon's always better. No, nah, futons are not comfortable. Dude, what are you talking about? Find yes, me a futon are. that's comfortable. Dude, first of all, a futon that's been, you know, tossed around for a couple years in a house, broken into, pretty broken into, very comfortable. Oh, I love a couch. Did that just come out of your throat? Yeah. You got to stop making these noises. I, I love couches, dude. I love, love. What about po- couch? Couch shopping was like the greatest, the best, my, the, the, the best. most fun part of moving into my the most, The best moment of my life. And then we thought we could put it in my car. It got to the car, just not even a sh- like a shot in hell. Dude, you gotta bring your measurement. But the eye, but but so so we so we we bought it at IKEA, which actually has like surprisingly very comfortable couches, and we, we so 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 we bought the couch. Why is that surprising? I don't know, cause I I think they have stiff couches. No, I mean I mean IKEA is just kind of known as like you know not necessarily the most comfortable. It's kind of like that's what it's known for. It's kind of like yeah, like one. Like one one use one cycle furniture, you know, gotcha. like 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 if you're moving across the country, I'm not gonna bring my forty dollar coffee table that's made of you know fucking particle board. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> like, buy I'm eight more. I'm just gonna throw it. Way. I'm gonna throw it away and buy a new one. That's yeah. and that's the beauty of IKEA and well, it's, it's amazing. Leave I it love outside. This hope some guy with an eye patch takes it. They have a very good couch, 
And uh, me and me and my roommate went to go buy the couch. So we bought it. We're like, didn't they really this can fit? We're like, yeah, hell yeah, this can fit. And eyeballing. We what well, we what well, we thought it would come to disassemb- disassemble like every other piece of IKEA furniture <laughs> ever does. But it's but it came assembled and then we saw the box and went, oh shit. So we we brought it down to the car. Um and we and we trying to fit it in. We're trying to fit it in for like a half hour. What car? My car. Your car? Yeah. It's not fitting in there. And either way. So 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 we say, okay, fine, fuck it. This isn't gonna work. So we go back to return it. And IKEA had closed. What does that mean? It closed. Like like like, like the store like it's gone? The store had closed. What do you mean closed for the day? At nine o'clock it closed oh. while we were putting in the car. So now we're just stuck here with a couch <laughs> and a car. <laughs> and we're like, what the fuck are we gonna do about this? Carry it all the way? No. Oh, that's miles, miles. <laughs> Dude, do you remember when we carried that couch, that random couch, probably bed bug and lice ridden all the way to Nick's uh, front, yeah. front and but, put it there? But, 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 but so first we first we're thinking, okay, Uber XL. Order a few. Just none of them are the right size. <laughs> they should have an Uber, Uber U-Haul. Uber XLs are like <laughs> half of them are just five person cars when they arrive. And also, I have I have big gripes with Uber XLs, but continue. Uh, we'll go to that after. And so. So UberXL doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work. Then we see a poor, poor employee leaving the building, and we go, "Hey, listen, <laughs> you're gonna have to pull some strings here. We we need to put this. We need to just put this back into IKEA. Like, just leave it there for the night. We will come get it first thing tomorrow <laughs> At least morning. the vestibule, like what that or little like, entrance. We'll, we'll figure it out. And she's like, oh. so they reopen the entire store. Okay, fair. Now, sh- now this is a fair upset. Person. Oh no, she should be upset. But so they reopen the entire store. And then, and then she says, why don't we just have it delivered? And we go, okay, that's a great idea, actually. <laughs> why was that not an option in the first place? <laughs> it was, but it's like, you know, if... if, if, if no, two, you, two, you, two, you just... When, right, when, right. Whenever you're shopping, you're like, oh, right, right, right. Oh, delivery, I'm not going to pay $90. I'll fucking do it myself. Yeah, I'm going to try you, to fit it into my... I'm going to try to fit this... And then you're like yeah. fucking roping it to the top of your... For the roof of your car. It's falling it's all off over. in traffic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Causing <laughs> pileups. So, yeah, either way, it worked out. That's good. Yeah, I, I, I've sat on your couch pretty comfortable. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's a little hard on the edges, but it's all right. Yeah, that's 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 on some purpose though. Yeah, so people don't want to sleep there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't want people staying there. Uber XLs though, it happened again. Every time I complain about it, it happens. I don't. Maybe it's because I'm I'm bringing on that negative energy. But so 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 what do you so what do you say happens when you when an Uber I, XL I to, arrives? Yeah, I, was, I was about to say it. I was about to say it. Uber XLs. If someone orders an XL, I would assume that there's more than four people in the goddamn ride, right? So why is their car never set up for six people? I mean, I, I understand why it's sometimes why it's not set up. I don't. I don't get it. Because, you know, who knows? Maybe it's the first ride of the night, whatever. But I, I really hate when when you you walk up to the car and I go, how many people are you? And you go, six. And he goes, oh. Yeah, and it's oh, like, that's oh. we're paying you more for this. Like, this is an Uber XL. Like, there's a reason you have this goddamn car. I also don't know. Put up the seats. I also don't know, though. The back end, of, we 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 should we should have an Uber driver on here. I don't know the back end of Uber. Like, does does it tell you you're getting a ride? Like, so obviously Uber XLs drive as Uber Xs as well. Okay. Um. So does it when when the when you get the ride? Does it say this is an XL ride or is it an X ride? But again, what does that matter? That doesn't matter to me. That shouldn't matter to Uber or the driver. I mean, if it's... your car, her seats half the time the seats are just down. They're just down. It's Why? It's, it's weird that Uber is this middleman. Like we don't know. Well, how else would we get to the? We 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 don't know what's happening. You know. First of all, e- either way, we went from not talking to strangers to having strangers pick you up and look at all the problems. It's 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 like it's ridiculous. Look at all the problems it's solved. Are you kidding me? Uber. If if I didn't have Uber in my life, it would be very. It would be much harder. I know, truly, w- walking in the bus, or you have to call like the four one one. No, the one 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 taxis. Yeah, the dude, ones that you just... actually have to call a taxi. Yeah, can you believe that? I used to have to call taxis before Uber. Me too. Yeah. Have I ever told you the taxi the, the taxi story? I, I I have a taxi story after you. You go. Okay. So, freshman year of high school, I was goofing around. Didn't really do my grades. My grades weren't bad that well. Long story short, short ended up going to summer school. So F territory, not D territory. First time going to summer school ever. Very upset about it. Really, really like embarrassed. I didn't like it. I was I was very upset. Um, so in order to not be late for the first day, 
I had no idea what I was expecting either. So in order to not be late for the first day, I ordered a, like a classic old taxi. Okay. Like I like I said, hey, I need a taxi for today, blah, 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 tomorrow at 7 a.m. Go on to summer school. Go, go into, you know, no, I didn't say, I didn't say go on to summer school. <laughs> I said go, in, go, go, in, go into the school. Okay. The school. Gotcha. They say, hey, um, we, we, there's not many cars in your area. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can get some, scrounge something up. Okay. And the thing about these, these old, these old taxi companies is that they have a, a like a whole fleet of different styles of car. So, 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 so I finally, I finally get the call. Hey, good news. Like I'm, I'm about to go on the bus because it's almost like time to go. And the guy's like, Hey, good news. We found you a car. It'll be here any minute. Great. Get ready. Kiss my mom. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye, mom. Uh, Full stretch limo pulls up. <laughs> that was that was that was the only car available <laughs> to. Was it the same price? Yeah, but yeah, th- th- that's how it used to work. Oh, you know, nice. like if it, so it's like a lottery. Yeah, it's just a lottery. But if it was in the area, yeah. So you're off to summer school. It, it was like it was governor? like an Uber XL, and 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 then and and, and um, but I'm freaking out because I'm like I can't go to summer school in a, li- Why not? In a limo. Go to summer school in a limo. Dude, like that's a G. So, dude, I'm like, a, I'm like a, a very introverted freshman year, very upset. I'm, I, I have these like, like, you know, uh, movie, movie fantasies of summer school where it's just like a bunch of fucking bullies. Yeah, people throwing just paper. Just like fucking nerd. You know? no, it's not, it's not, and, yeah, and no, either, that's either not way. summer school But like. so I'm like freaking out. So I get in the limo and the guy like, <laughs> Pulls down the divider and he's like, "Hey, sir, how's it going?" I'm like, "This is fucking." It's like, forget about summer school. Can you pull me? To, can you bring me to pumps? Can you bring me? To and strip, I think I home? think about I think about like telling him to go a block before the school because I really was embarrassed about it. Nah, man, pull up like a G. Pull up. But like either a G. way, so so yeah, so 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 I I didn't get that option. <laughs> Pulled up like a G. Everybody's like, "Who the fuck is this? Who's this guy?" And I just walk out and <laughs> I'm like, I have a hat on. I'm like, okay, time to go. It was it was horrible. I looked like fucking Richie Rich. And then Danny proceeded to show up in a limo to some school every day after no, that. Yeah, now I have to show up in a limo. <laughs> you no. can't downgrade. You can't start up there. No, I started taking that. But summer school is so funny because like, even though, even though I was in summer school, people still just because of glasses thought I was a nerd and would cheat off me. That makes no it's sense. It's like it's like the, yeah. Well, it's like I wouldn't be here. Well, they're fucking idiots. That's why you. they're in summer school. That's also true. <laughs> but, but, and, and, and that's when I saw people cheating on me. I was like, I, I don't know. I, this is I'm as good as you right now. This <laughs> I'm, is, I'm here we with both you. Failed. We're all in jail. We're all in jail. I didn't, I didn't do anything good either. And and <laughs> and, and it was just it was, what a what a horrible. I, I never ever went back after that because I did not enjoy the experience and also. It's just like it's anarchy there, dude. People like this, like freshman year of high school, and 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 some, and some kid was like, so so some kid randomly it was like during an English test, and some kid like handed me handed me a bottle of Gatorade and it's like, yeah, Yo, you want a sip? And I definitely want desperately wanted a sip because the cafeteria <laughs> wasn't, ca- okay. the cafeteria wasn't operating. It was just vending machines, so you only had like these shitty choices of food. Okay, and it was just fucking like. Blue raspberry vodka. Jesus and I was like, <laughs> I spit it back into the container. Oh. I was like, Jesus Christ. You can't just what do that to somebody? Is, yeah, what the fuck is this? And, 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 and then he was just like, with the most serious face, it's like, it's summer school. <laughs> so it, it it really is like that. It's it's a horrible place. Everybody's upset. You know that people are having much more fun than you are. It's the worst, worst thing ever. It's hot. Don't ever go to summer school. Do they even kids. put the, Do they even put the AC on? In, do they waste? Uh, do no, it's just fans. It's like fans. Oh, that's the worst kind of cool. It's air. just like oscillating fans yeah, that's, everywhere. That's just first of all, they're <laughs> loud, and it's just warm air. It's not even cool, really. And and, and it's the 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 curriculum is so downgraded. It's like plus two plus two because because like I didn't go because I'm bad at school. I just went because I was like. Not doing it. I was just preoccupied. Like I was trying to. I was like, it was high school. I was trying to fit in and be cool. And oh, I was yeah. like, yeah, good, you did a good job with that work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Top of it. No, but um, and I just didn't do it. So like, I was like, I'm still smart. Like I knew all the shit, and it was like the literally, it's like the, the curriculum is mind numbing. It's like <laughs> for, for for the social studies one, they just had. You, they just showed us the movie 300. <laughs> that is that is it. And then we had a test on the movie, and that was like a quarter of the grade. Jesus, Jesus. And the Gatorade guy's struggling. And get, yeah, Gatorade, Gatorade, guy's, Gatorade guy is like fucking a few he's, shots in. He's a see freshman. It, he's seeing double. That's a it, lightweight. It was, it was it was it was horrible experience. 
has don't, it. don't ever go. Don't go to summer school. Stay in school. Stay in, stay in school, school, but if you stay in school, you got to do good in school or I, else you, you have I more had school. The, I had the most, over the course of high school, the most improved GPA. I feel like that's what you've gotten in everything you've ever done because the most I'm improved. I'm a good improver. You're I'm, a good improver. I'm, I'm a great improver. You should, go, you should be on home improvement. Bad starter, good finisher. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, uh, no. But bad, but, but I'm a good improver. Give me, give, give, give me a project. I'll improve the shit out of it. That doesn't mean complete. Start, start a project, very, very, very bad. Blank canvas, very bad. Just and just somebody's thought seed. I'll thought make seed. it. I'll make it a million dollar business. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, that's, that's a, wow, that's a big boy. <laughs> thought seeds, dude. Thought seeds are dangerous, man. I love that term. I love. I love planting a little thought seed in someone's head, and they let they let it they flower and they let it grow, and it becomes this big fucking thought tree. And now they're worried about everything's the best. So it's a. So it's a thought seed. I'm like a little thought gardener. So, so it's just like an idea. Yeah. That you. You just play a little. It's like it's like hey hey place. hey. Do you ever think that maybe someone's trying to do this? And it goes to you. And then and then slowly and then you slowly pollinates. You, 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 you like ponder it forever. And Germinating ever, and ever. And plant. I remember thought, that. Yeah. Tree. Thought tree. Many branches. Huh. A lot of apples. And then they're going crazy. And they come back to me like you know what you're right. And I was like probably not honestly. You just took that on your own. I feel like a shower thought. A lot of shower thoughts. I thought seeds. Yeah, that's your own thought seeds. Okay, love shower thoughts. And you're literally like, love the water's thoughts. hitting your head, and you're literally like, okay, get in here. Shower thoughts? What's your shower thought of the day? I don't know. You should have a shower thought of the day every day. Every day? Every day. I used to have a calendar that said, like, kind of like that. Shower thought? Yeah, it was like a, it was like a, like a random fact, kind of. Calendar thought? Yeah, I guess so. No, it I mean, was, your own it was, thought. It was cool. Like, but usually my, my, usually my shower thoughts are like, just awful things I, I've done or like not awful but like like, like but, but to me to me shower thoughts are like like progressive no just like these larger like these larger statements about like society no <laughs> like, no no like, I don't go there no that's where I go like why do you why do you park in a driveway and drive on a parkway Jesus Christ. like what, you're <laughs> what a child. the fuck is you're like, a child why why no I go like I go like that's a shower thought that is a shower thought that makes me rethink the fabric Soci- of society, society. <laughs> truly. Phonetics. Is that right? Phonetics. Phonetics is how you talk. Yeah. Like how you pronounce words. All right, well, never mind. I'm wrong about that. You know, Like I'm... phonics? Yeah, phonics. Or phonics? I do remember phonics. That's the same thing. Oh, okay. Well, I got you. What was I saying? No, you're right. I go more like the shit I've done, like, God, why did you trip Billy in the sixth grade like an asshole? You know, I go like that. I go back in my past. Oh, no. Shower thoughts are impersonal to me. They're societal. They're, they're grand. <laughs> they're very grand. Now, yeah. like my most recent shower thought is one time I was in high school sitting, like before, you know, before you kind of start class, everyone's sitting around. My sister came up to me and hugged me from the back really tight. She kind of like did one of like the neck chokes by accident and really hurt my neck. And I was like, okay, so now I'm starting to get angry. I'm starting to fume a little bit. She leaves literally like 0.4 seconds later, someone else does it. And mm-hmm. I think it's my sister again. So I grabbed this person's head and th- like, like, Get off me like that, and it was just some this poor girl who wanted to like hug me. So those in are the your, morning. I don't think those are what cl- shower thoughts are. Well, that's my shower thought because I was no because because I went back. I was like, why the why why did you? First of all, I blame my sister number one, but also like like why did I do that? Like or, or like I know why I did it, but it's very unfortunate that that's how it played out. And I was like, damn it, thinking about like it's like one hand up, head down in the shower. You're like, god damn it, why'd you do that? Nah, shower thoughts are like at one point you were the youngest person alive. No, that's this is this is like you're gonna go crazy. That's what a shower. Sho- you look should up, stop taking look showers. Up, look up shower thoughts. First of all, I don't know if you started taking showers, but you need to stop. Them. Look up look up shower thoughts on like Twitter or something. Why well, you want to bet what a shower thought is? I'm telling you, they're all these like they're they're these like really kind of uh, no, they're not. like no. uh, larger concepts. They are. I swear to God. No, I go shower thoughts. Sh- my shower thoughts of the day are super personal. No, no, no. Like. I also have a buying sti- a lottery ticket is buying a moment to imagine what to do with the winnings. That's a shower thought. That's just someone who, if they said this shit to me, I'd I'd flick their nose or something. Be like, get 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 out of technically get out of my face. your alarm is your theme song as it starts every episode. That's a shower. That's thought. That's not a shower. Thought. That's dude. This is this is what the general. This is what the accepted oh, yeah, shower the, thought. The real is. the real heroes is Reddit. I know. Anybody leave uh, leave your leave your leave, shower thoughts. Please leave in your the sh- comments below. Definitely. Not your personal weird experience. First of all, any thought is a shower thought. That's if you're not in the shower. Sure, no. That's number one. No, no, no. Leave your shower thought of the day, personal or not personal. We'll take it. I'm fine with it. That was for you. I've been on my balcony a lot, like recently, just like hanging out out there, and I and I thought. I almost never, ever 
go near the railing just because, you know, I don't know. I don't want to mess with that. Okay. Like, I never really lean against the railing. From my, but so I know. So in, in, in reality, I don't use it. Like, I don't use the railing. But if Oops. it wasn't there, you wouldn't use I'd the balcony. I'd shit myself. Yeah, <laughs> no. I wouldn't use the balcony. Yeah, you wouldn't use the balcony. I don't think anybody would use the balcony. But isn't it funny how this, like, it's it's just that is. It's like the. It's and, like, and, and then I started to think, how low could the balcony get? Into, as to where I would be okay with it, you know, I, I, I if guess I could trip over it, that's <laughs> that'd be really bad. It's like cartoonish. But I still, I, I think even a one foot balcony, like a one foot um, what do you fence. Keep, what are you keeping out of Chihuahua? I, I, I think a one foot fence would do a lot more for my mental than stability than nothing. If it's lower than if it's lower than my waist, I'm not going near it. And if it's below my knee, I'm not even looking at it because <laughs> I could just trip. Right, like that's below your knee is real tripping scare. That's true. That's true. And if I'm the but if ass. it's too tall, then I feel like what the fuck is this? I'm what is a grown, this? Cage? What is this I'm a cage? grown man. Like let me let me fucking put my arm around the balcony. It's a happy middle. It's like belly button. Belly button's fine. Oh yeah, no, I I, I enjoy it. Now. Or lower yeah. nipple. No. I don't know. I, I don't remember how high yours is. Belly button probably. It's like, right? Yeah, it's like right here. So uh, diaphragm, oh, yeah, diaphragm middle, length. Middle, yeah, there you go, diaphragm. But I'm pretty tall, so probably like. Oh, what he's trying to say? Make your, you, probably so, your nipples. All right, all right. I'm not fucking. I'm not that much smaller than you. You got low nips. I got, <laughs> I got low, low riding nips. Low hanging fruit on that one. Do you think the the space has anything to do with the conversation or the intensity of the conversation? The intensity of the conversation. Because I mean, like, I'm here. I don't want to ruin the movie magic. But I'm here. You're, you're, like you're, on all, at almost every podcast, my shoulder is against the yeah, wall, and you're enclosed like a scared chimpanzee. And so chimpanzee. now I'm like, now I'm like, you know, just like, hey guys. Yeah. Well, you do that. You do that on your own. But now I can fuck. Yeah. Cool, now I'm, I'm a just, conductor. Yeah. I can do whatever the fuck I want with these things. Dude, dude, you know what's crazy? How those people are even doing something? It just looks like they're like. I know, and they're actually doing like a thing, right? Isn't it like a thing that the, they do? The, the orchestra wouldn't be able to play. <laughs> the orchestra wouldn't be able to play. The thing they do. They're, 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 people, they're, they know, like the, yeah, the players yeah. know. Or like the, 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 you know? What is like, this? What is this? You know how they tap on the thing to get everyone's attention? The stand? Oh, yeah. Even yeah, though yeah. everyone's looking at them already? Hmm. And then the tuba guy starts playing louder and fucking. Yeah. I'm going to be that guy. That could that be a good guy. I think Chaz wanted to be that guy. It's like, Chaz, you're the too conductor, short. You're correct? too short, unless you're on like a, one Maestro. of those platforms. Maestro. That's, a, that's another name for it, I think. Maestro. That's the name of a supervillain, I think. Oh, it's Mysterio. Yeah. Ray Mysterio. That's, that's, it's not WWE. <laughs> it is WWE. Uh, I would, I, I, I've always said, we've always said, I would love if we, uh, when, when you die, you just get like a stat card. Stat card with all the stats of your life, like how, like how many times how you much how much how much how many gallons of alcohol you've drank, oh, dude, that's so scary. how many times you pissed. I've also I've always wanted I've always always wanted to know this. Yeah, yeah. What are the top five closest moments to death that have happened in my life? Yeah, but not the obvious ones. There's no even the I mean if if one of the obvious ones is a real one, then it counts. But I, I would I would I'd take a guess that there are probably like three. There's probably two that I know and probably at least two or three that I don't I don't even know it happened. Dude, first of all like a fucking air conditioner yeah, fell yeah, behind yeah, me yeah. or some no, shit. Like dude, it's first of all, the top twenty are probably the ones you don't know. The closest you came to death are probably like top fifty and you don't know. I, and I wonder if there's like a metric of how close it actually was. <laughs> you know, because obviously other people's, you know, people have have different uh, varying levels of closeness, you know. Yeah, like, like some people have come very close, and some people eh, we're almost there, but not close. Or like, or like, it's just like you're you're crossing the street, and this grandma's driving, and like there's a person who gets shot in the chest, and a person who like there's a millimeter away from their brain, and that's where it hit. Like that person is closer, yeah, right? I don't know. I don't know. The, I think so. I don't know the very a bullet shrapnel damage. I think that. Oh. I think it's probably most of the time of because you're driving so much, it's probably another person managing to be okay and not like going crazy in a second that will hit your car and that'll end it. I don't think it's anything like walking down the street. I wonder unless it's like final. Do you think do you think you've ever been close to being like legitimately murdered? (laughs) Like by by a friend or a psycho? By a person. Like, do you think there was a murderer? One that we've, because chances are we've seen a murderer. Oh, 
guarantee. Do you see some of the people around here? Guarantee it. Exactly. So and I also wonder. You, you've been everywhere. Well, so I wonder if anybody's been like, eh, not, not today. I don't know why they sound like the French. Yeah. Like, eh, not today. <laughs> Get away from me now, Danny Bonjour. You live to see another day. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> we, we did go to Paris, so... We did. Uh, oh, sacre bleu, you live to see another day, white boy. <laughs> I think we should get out of here because that camera's about to die. We've been doing this for a little bit. All right. Let's get out of here, man. It's just two of us, so you do it. Show them. Show them how to... Oh, sure. oh you want to end on that? Everybody who's of legal age, you could, you're welcome to take one with us. If you made it this far. We didn't even know if we are going to put this one out, but, you know, whatever. That's true. Although I thought it was very fun. I like a two-person. I enjoyed this. So I enjoyed a two-person. I enjoyed this. This was good. It was a good little test run here. Let us know. Maybe we'll do four people. Maybe we'll do three people. Maybe we'll do six people. Who Not cares? doing six. <laughs> Not doing six. But I think that I think that Cheers. we can, the next iteration of the Picky Boy set. I think I'm going to get in trouble for the SeaWorld shot glass. We could use some. I think we're gonna get made fun of for the pre-chase shot chase. I actually, I actually, thought I think we're gonna get made fun of for that. And also, screw you. We are. I actually thought about that. If you check when I took the first shot, I didn't do it on purpose. Because you were afraid you got made fun of. I was afraid I get made fun of. Dude, if someone made fun of me for that, I'd be like, you know, just, just leave me the fuck Dude, alone. Dude, it's, it's such a strange. What does, it, what does it matter? I mean, like, it's such a. Get away from. If the I'm family. drinking good alcohol, I won't do it like that. But if, if I'm just yeah, drinking to drink, that's different. Then that's different. Also, quick tangent. Why, when we were younger. It almost felt like like when we were drinking like underage drinking. It was it was it was it was almost like it was supposed to hurt. Like we like we I would take a bottle with Poland Spring like a Poland Spring bottle just put with vodka classic and like not even use a chaser. We would all just pass it around and go Ugh. like like it was supposed to be this burn for but, some reason. But it's also because again when, when we talk about this kind of stuff, I think about how money was so tight when we were younger and getting the alcohol in the first place. In was Arizona. Tough. In Arizona. Yeah, you're right. What's that? Twenty cents split five ways. <laughs> That's all you need. Maybe tax twenty one cents. I'm not gonna. I mean, obviously, this anybody who takes chasers. Don't call people who take chasers a pussy. Yeah, get away yeah, from yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you're not gonna get. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't. I don't. I don't know who you're calling pussy. Who's chasing them? But obviously, if we want to take a shot without a chaser, we could. Yeah, uh, but why? I, would, I don't. I don't want to. We could. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. So why do it? I don't know. Why put yourself through this pain? I'll tell you Let's what, though. No offense pain. to everybody out there, but if someone does a pre-chaser shot, chaser and still goes, nah, nah. okay. That's a little. Okay. You might be able to call them a female sex organ. A little bit. And if you haven't tried the, you take a little tiny, just a tiny, 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 tiniest thing. A tiny sip of the chaser. Shot. You keep it in your mouth. Yes. Shot. Then the chaser, It's it will change. It will plunge you into alcoholism. Because Jesus. shots are so good. We shouldn't be teaching. We sh I'm not trying to teach people how to do this, but I'm saying if you, let's say you're at a bar, right? You're legal age to go to a bar, and you're at a bar, and someone orders you like a round of shots, and those shots are always very bad. It doesn't matter what it is, unless it's like the high end stuff, which it's usually not because you're buying so many. You need to do that so you don't almost. I've seen people take a shot and just blow it out right in front of, in an open bar. Like what are you gonna whale. do? Whale. Yeah, like, like yeah, like a blowhole. Like. Brrr. Like one by Shamu, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck right, was let's, that? Let's get out of here. All right. All right. Where do they find it? You can find me on DMOR723 on Instagram, TikTok, and uh, Danny Moriarty on YouTube. Uh, you can find me at Aunt Prisco. And can't forget to follow the Picky Boys Pot. There you go. Let's get out of here. That's Picky it. Boys Podcast. Like, subscribe, and uh, buy merch in the first link in the description. Goodbye.